Oh hey YouTubes, welcome back to Airbin Outdoors. I'm Airbin, but you knew that, didn't you? Wow, what a beautiful fall day. It's a little warm, but uh, I'm just sitting here in my fox den, smoking this old Nordic pipe that belongs to my father. Drinking a little bit of Jim Beam Honey Bourbon and Coke. And uh, in my pipe, I am smoking the last of my Highland Scotch Whiskey, which is a blend from my local tobacco merchant that I will be purchasing more of. You know, my dad used to smoke this pipe. It was one of his favorites. And when he passed away in 2007 and I inherited it, it was in pretty bad shape. Uh, and I refinished it. And it looks pretty good considering it's probably older than I am or about as old as I am. And I am about to turn 55 in 10 days. But it's a great smoking pipe. I love that freehand style. And One of my favorites. It fits in my hand perfect. My thumb fits right there and it's a good pipe to hold. But smoking a pipe is more of an art. It's very... What's the word I'm looking for? It's an emotional attachment is what it is. You can't... It's something that you can't do in a rush. Well, I imagine you could, but why? Kind of defeats the purpose of smoking a pipe. I smoke a pipe to slow down and to relax with everything that's going on in this crazy world right now. We need to do that occasionally. It's just like I enjoy the art of smoking a pipe. Right now I have a full beard but I do enjoy the art of shaving. When I do shave, I do it the old-fashioned way with a single blade safety razor. I've got the little stainless steel cup that I put the shaving cream or say shaving lotion in. And then I have the little uh, beaver skin brush that I moisten and I lather it up and I put it on with my face and then I shave. And that will give you a closer shave than any of those expensive 610 blade razors that lifts the skin and ultra smooth. I tell you what, the razor market is a scam right now is what it is. You can't beat an old fashioned single blade safety razor. You might spend a little bit more up front for the actual razor, but the blades themselves are very inexpensive. And it'll give you a closer shave than any of those disposable razors. Kind of bored today. I don't know what to do. I don't really feel like going anywhere. I was thinking about maybe going to the driving range. Think about maybe shooting some arrows, but I don't know. It's just one of those lazy days, you know. It's kind of overcast outside, and uh, I don't know. I just figured I would come in here and chill out for a while, have some music playing, which I have in the lay in the fox den. I have one of these little Bluetooth speakers 
but I can't play the music right now while I'm doing this video because of I think I'm on Facebook's watch list because every damn time I put a video with even a smidgen of a song in it if it's in the background and I don't even realize it I get a copyright flag YouTube's getting kind of insane does anybody else agree I enjoy watching y'all's videos those of you who are creators and make videos I spend a good portion of my mornings watching YouTube videos in fact I catch up on the news I put it on Fox and catch up on the news with Fox and Friends for maybe 30 minutes or so just to see if anything happened that was an acorn hitting the roof and then after Fox and Friends I turn it to YouTube and I will watch I just go down to subscriptions I watch on my television not my phone just go to subscriptions and all of the, subs the new videos by my subscribers are up there so I just hit the top button it says play all and uh, it'll just play in order the videos and uh, that's what I do for an hour or two sometimes till noon uh, a lunchtime just watching y'all's videos I, I love all the stuff that you guys do I don't always get an opportunity to comment because I'm watching on television and on my television I can't m leave comments when I watch but I do watch all of y'all's videos and uh, I try to comment later on on my phone so a lot of times I'll watch the video on TV and if I feel really compelled I'll reach over and grab my phone while the video is playing and I'll pull up the video on my phone to leave a comment that's just how I watch YouTube I like to watch it on the big screen my eyes aren't as great as they used to be so watching that little telephone screen is a lot harder than watching the big 55 inch screen you know man the acorns are falling like crazy out there and the leaves we just had the the lawn guys come out what two or three days ago and the leaves have already covered the yard again so yeah it's that time fall I love it I'm just waiting for the weather to get cooler but unfortunately in South Carolina we're still hanging out in the 80s gets a little cooler at night but actually I think this week we're gonna top out in the upper 70s so it's it's gradually creeping to creeping down there but I know most places uh, already now October what 20 something I know it's the 20 something because my wife's birthday was the 19th uh, 20 maybe it's the 23rd I don't know Friday I know it's Friday yeah when you're retired you kind of lose track of days and they all kind of blend in in days like this where it's just boredom you know I could go fishing I mean I have a pond one-tenth of a mile away I could shoot some guns I can do that in my backyard I could shoot some bow and arrows or even some BB guns and pellet guns I could break out the AR or any of the 22's or whatever I could get out there in the field and uh, chip some golf balls get some practice at my chipping I'm thinking about building a putting green in this one section of the yard and then I'll have a little area where I can chip up onto that putting green I would raise it up just a little bit and uh, maybe get some of that indoor outdoor turf 
and make like a putting green, kind of like a putt putt, but just a like a golf, like at a golf course, and put you know maybe three holes in it so I can get out there and practice my putting. Because golf has recently become something that I am addicted to. Notice that I didn't say it's something that I'm good at. It's something that I'm addicted to. And I'm striving to get better with each round. I play with my buddy Chaz once a week. We play a different course every week. You know, sometimes we'll play the same course two weeks in a row. I'm about 20 minutes from Lake Murray, which is the largest man-made lake in South Carolina. It's a beautiful lake. I grew up on it. So I could take the kayak out and do some exploring, some island hopping, just kayaking, or I could go fishing there. So it's not that I don't have things to do or easy access to it, Today, I just don't have the energy to do it. I've been thinking about what can I make a video about? What can I make a video about? And I feel like I don't have anything left. I mean, all my gear, I'm looking at my gear. I'm looking at my rustic bag. I've done a video on that. My Kelty bag, I've done a video on that. My Eno hammock, I've done a video on that. My Kelty sleeping bag, I've done a video on that. My fishing cart, I've done a video on that. My rod and reels, I've done a video on that. My uh, PFD, I've done a video on that. And the knife that it's on it. My bow and arrow, I've done a video on that. I don't know what else I've got, guys. I've played my hand drums. Ah. Give me some ideas, guys. What do you want? What do you want to see? Would you guys be interested in golf videos? I could take the next time I play. I could take the camera along and do a golf video. My buddy, he would be up to it. So one thing about being in the country, it's beautiful because it's quiet, it's peaceful. You can shoot your guns and your bows and all that stuff right in your backyard. Uh, you're far enough away to where you don't have road noise and uh, traffic and all that. But you're close enough to where if you want to do something, you can. Now, see, I've even done a video about that. City versus country life. Oh, man. Have you ever found yourself to be in one of those... Uh, creative loopholes where you just don't have anything to offer or don't feel like you have anything to offer. I think I've done a video on just about everything I own. One thing I could share with you that I don't think I ever have is this little gun right here. And I know this is not going to come through on the camera because it's even hard to see not on camera there's a logo of a lady like a statue and it says Diana Mod 22 the company is called Diana and it is a model 22 pellet gun and I when I was a young boy five four, five, six years old, both of my brothers had identical guns like this. Well, my brother and my stepbrother, or half-brother, whatever he is, had guns matching just like this. And uh, they got them when we lived in Germany. I was born in Germany. And, uh, so I left Germany when I was two years old. So, let's say if they got these guns the year I was born, 
that would make these guns now uh, 55 years old. This is a 55 year old pellet gun by a company called Diana. That's all I really know about it. It is a single shot break action and you just shoot, it shoots 177 caliber pellets. That's these little teeny tiny pellets here. And uh, you just put it in, reach it back, and now you're ready to shoot. And let's see if I can hit that panel way out there. Yep, good shot. It's pretty accurate. Uh, it's just fun for blinking. I don't think it's got enough power, especially now. Maybe when it was new, I don't know. I don't think it's got enough power where I would want to shoot a squirrel with it or anything. But it's fun just to get out and shoot at tin cans and stuff like that. But yeah, just for shooting around, shooting cans in the yard and, you know, setting up little army men and shooting them. It's just fun. I'll never get rid of it because it belonged to my brother Wayne. And uh, not a day that goes by that I don't miss him. But this was his gun, and it's about as old as me. So, uh, it's one that I will have forever. That's just like Truck Norris. You've seen the video that I've done on Truck Norris, my Ford F-150. I will never get rid of it. And it is, truck is 22 years old now. He's got well over 300,000 miles. But again, that's something that I will have forever even when it stops working it will sit here parked on this property before I ever get rid of it just because it belonged to my brother <sighs> I'm sentimental like that I have a lot of things that belong to my brother a lot of knives I've shown I've done videos on those as well as my father, a lot of his pipes, like this one I'm smoking now. This one right here, which kind of reminds me of him because it looks like him. Little Meerschaum. He had the beard and the mustache like that. So again, that's something I will never get rid of. And just so you guys know, because I always get a comment. People see me smoking a pipe and they see that I've got a trach. And they're like, why are you smoking a pipe if you have a trach? Well, the two have nothing to do with one another. The reason I have this trach is because of my thyroid cancer, which has nothing to do with smoking pipes. It's hereditary. On my mom's side of the family, the McLean side of it. This pipe has a huge bowl. I don't know the diameter of it, but it is deep. You can see how deep it is. It holds a lot of tobacco and it takes a long time to smoke a whole bowl of this. And a lot of times I get busy talking and my pipe will go out. <laughs> but yeah, the thyroid cancer and the smoking of the pipe and the trach, none of it is related. I don't have the trach because I've smoked. I never smoked cigarettes growing up. I didn't start smoking pipes until I was an adult. You know, back in high school, messed around with a little bit of weed. Who didn't? Back in the 70s and 80s. Was in a group that we thought we were really cool. A little mini fraternity. Sigma Lamba Epsilon. And we thought it was cool to smoke cigars. 
Oh, those were weird days. The 80s was probably the best decade in history. Not just musically, but as far as everything. I mean, things were just easier back then. I won't say easier because we didn't have cell phones and computers, but that's probably what made it better. Not having all this technology and 24 hours a day bombardment of news, mostly bad. Rarely will, rarely will you find good news on the news network. There's no money in good news. I'm still trying to think of ideas for videos, guys. Help me out in the comments section, please, if you're still with me. And if you're still with me, I'm going to give you guys another chance. A few videos ago, don't remember the name of the video, but late in the video, I announced that I was going to do a giveaway where I give away some of my Arabin Outdoors. You can see I've got plenty to give away. And all you had to do in that video was comment in the comment section of that video somewhere the words sticker me. So if you're still with me, I appreciate it. And if you want me to send you a couple of these Arab and Outdoor stickers, put in the comment section along with ideas for videos. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But put the words sticker me and uh, I'll send you a couple. If you want an Arab and Outdoor sticker and you haven't already received one or two or three, however many I'll send you, uh, let me know in the comment section below on this video and I'll, I'll do it again. Yes, I do have a damn big lighter with me. I just saw it sitting here as I put that picture back. Let me put that back up on the windowsill there. Usually I use this, but I'm not going to go into that because I've already done a video on that. My tobacco pouch by Legendary Saxon Leather. I've already done that. You can check out them on Etsy. That's Legendary Saxon Artisan Leather. I think if you just search Legendary Saxon on Etsy, it'll come up. But they do a great job. They make uh, pipe pouches like this out of bison leather. I've had this thing for six, seven years at least, and it's held up great. They also make cigar cases custom. They can customize them. You can see I had them put right there that's coming through on the camera or not. I had him put Arabin in runes for me. But yeah, he'll customize them for you. And I keep that, this temper tantrum, tamper, tamper, tantrum, tamper, in there. Another great guy, go check out his, his channel, that's Tamper Tantrum, if you're into pipes. I know I have a wide variety on my channel. It's not exclusively pipes. It's not exclusively fishing or hunting. That's why I call it Arab and Outdoors, because it's usually outdoor related. And, uh, anyway, I guess I bored you guys long enough. The ice has already melted out of my bourbon and coke. But I tell you what, this Jim Bean honey, good bourbon. So, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, again, thank you so much for being subscribed. I deeply appreciate it. I'm at 930 subscribers. I would love to hit 1,000. Not for monetization, just a goal that I have. And once I hit 1,000, I'll be content. 
And uh, if you haven't already subscribed yet, just again, make sure you, you know, hit the subscribe button. Then be sure to click that bell over there. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And consider sharing it. Not this one, because I know this is a boring video. But share some of my other videos. Whichever one is your favorite. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, my battery is about to go dead. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, keep it outdoors.